Dalabado Shabadu Sheke Roboko Satariamamush Mandali Mamabaku Sataya Kila Madushka Lamadushaya Roboko Satayina Namako Sataya Roboko Sekelebeaya Robo Shama Namakutaya Roboko Sedelebeko Roboko Taria Badushka Tongs of Fire God, Dio Saku Roboko Sakatalama Kosikaya Roboko Sekeleboko Saya Roboko Sikaya Baba Madoroboko Shaya Eji Amen. Tongues of fire, Yokushua. Makaseke Toloboko Seke Talibo Rukuseke. We drink the blood of Yokushua and eat his flesh so that we vomit fire over this airway. Kilebe do kosoko rabadasta robo koseki raka saka taka saka to robo koshi mama katu robo kosaka ta libande libande lusha katu liabadu sky rebende kaya na makushe ya raku saka ta ya broko soto rebeke sa ya robo koshaya. Tongues of fire, God. Tongues of fire, Maka Sheke. Robo, Robo, Robo. Braka Seke Tali Moruku Saya. Rika Tu Shabadus Kutura. Mandele, Mandele Shata. His name is wonderful. I know His name. We know His name. We have His name. His name is wonderful, I know His name. Do you know His name or like tonight? I know His name. His name is wonderful, I know His name. I know His name. I know His name. His name is Counselor, I know His name. I know his name, I know his name, his name is Counselor, I know his name, we know his name, we know his name, his name is Man of War, I know his name, I know his name, we know Katushata, his name I know his name, we know his name, I know his name, his name is merciful, I know his name, oh no, God, if you know his name, I'm the song, get the boots his name is merciful, I know his name, we know his name. He makes the 
Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have welcome. Tonight, I want to give God thanks. The Holy Spirit who is the head of my life. I have no other God. I know no other God like this. There's no creator that is as faithful as Jesus. I want to take this opportunity to welcome Jesus on this global platform tonight. Wherever you are clicking tonight, I want you to welcome from our Father in spirit and is true in truth to the principality and the powers. Hallelujah. They know that there is someone superior. They know that there's someone who is great. Hallelujah. And tonight we're not astronomically aligning ourselves to any deity or entity or planet. We are, uh, we are aligning ourselves to the spirit of God. We're cultivating the spirit of truth. We are the elect one. God has called us with a might 
mighty calling. Tonight we are on the apostolic team. Hallelujah. And the team is my head is not for sale. My mental faculty is not for sale. Hallelujah. That's why I'm giving you an opportunity to invite your loved one. That any power from any dimension, any regions, any realm that wants to kill the brain, wants to steal your brain. Am I communicating? Any fallen angel that wants to steal your brain. Your brain is not for sale. Your brain is not for sacrifice. Do I have a witness on this global platform? My brain is not for sale. My brain is not for sacrifice. I am not for sacrifice, devil. I am not for sacrifice. My head is not for sacrifice. No kobo ko shake it today. So tonight we're going to war because I perceived something today while I was in my prayer that some of you, your head has been act. The enemy wants to know what is in your brain. He wants to steal the glory of your destiny, which is your head. So tonight we're going to war for the head because the day you lose your head, you're worthless. The day John the Baptist lost his head, his ministry was over. So we're going to pray a serious prayer for our head. Head. We're going to activate our head in the frequency of heaven. We're going to use the chariot of fire to escort our head to the gates, uh, hallelujah, of the king of glory. And God is going to do a procedure upon every head tonight. Uh, do I have an apostolic witness that my head yeah. needs a recalibration? My head needs something new. In the name of Yahshua. If you're under the sound of my voice tonight, uh, I want you to get your anointed oil and just anoint your head because I am seen in the realm of the spirit uh, that deities and entities uh, have a very keen interest in man's head. And that's why in Psalms 20, 23, uh, David says, my head is anointed with oil because David understood the significance of having his head whole and not having his head breached. So tonight we are going into battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. In the name of Yahshua, we're going to fight for our head tonight. Uh, hallelujah. The Lord take me on a journey where I see a lot of things going on with people head. Uh, people head is not what it looks like. Uh, I see a man come to my yard uh, to do the um, to gardening. And when I look in his head, I see 21 snakes uh, sitting on his head saying, Prophet, Anna, how are you? Uh, and God says, if I'm to open your eyes in the realm uh, of the spirit, and you begin to see what some people are carrying on their head, you will beg me to close back your eyes. So tonight we're going to battle for our head in the mighty name of Jesus. So, but as always, when I come on, I love, love to decrease so that Yahushua will increase. At this time, I want to acknowledge all the pastor, Apostle Miracle Nabuchi, uh, 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 his sister, hallelujah, um, um, promise, uh, hallelujah, Nabuchi is on. She is going to take us to a realm of worship. As she finished the worship tonight, we are going to go into an accelerated place of power. Then we are going to welcome, let me just do the welcome first. want to welcome um, um, Kirk on Kekos tonight. We want to welcome, hallelujah, Nevada, Nevada. Thank God for Nevada. Thank God for Thank Bridgeport. You, Thank God for those that are coming in from Connecticut. I know some of you will be coming in late, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia. Thank God for our Argentina, Barbuda, Bahamas. Thank God for all my brothers and sisters in Bahamas. Come on, saints, Thank let's give Lord. it up for Bahamas. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, Lord. for Bahamas. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All these are coming in from Thank the Caribbean. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. King from Jamaica. And all the thank different Caribbean islands, hallelujah, Grenada, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, thank you, thank God, thank you, Lord, Fort St. Thomas, hallelujah, I am thanking God for the for the people of God that are set out to do great things in their nation. Want to thank God for the thank world, you, Lord. 
Argentina. Thank you, Lord. Can you thank God for thank that, you, Jesus? Lord. You must, I'm going to read out some of the um. The prior, um, the prior praise report that we're getting, uh, hallelujah, from people who are watching us. So I want to acknowledge these people on the global, the global platform tonight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, can we uh, give Argentina our Lord as welcome in the mighty name of okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, in the mighty name of God, thank God for Bermuda. Thank God for Bermuda. Thank God for Bermuda. We want to thank God for our love for Bermuda. Thank Thomas. Thank God for that. I want to thank God for those who are watching the broadcast on our various platform. You must remember that our platform is hosting millions of people from around the world, French-speaking nation. We are soon going to have an app, this app that I'm buying. It, it, you speak English and it transform it into five to six different language. And that is a cutting-edge, hallelujah, app for ministries like ours. We give God thanks for his time and this season that God is spreading the gospel. If you don't pick up a passion for the gospel, brothers and sisters, you're wasting time. Jesus is coming, and now is the time for us to win souls. Come on, somebody. We need to win souls for the king. The king is coming. That is the passion of the Christ. Morocco. Can we welcome Morocco tonight? Hallelujah. Mexico Morocco. Hallelujah. We want to thank God, hallelujah, for South Africa. I want to thank God for South Africa. Yes, God for you, South Africans, for all of you that are calling in from the African, hallelujah, continent, all of you from Nigeria that is on tonight. Thank God for you. Thank God for Asia tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for Singapore and for Norway. Thank God for my friends there in Norway. Oh God, they will be coming on as soon as possible. Thank God for the United Kingdom. Thank God for Antarctica, Canada, Russia. Thank God for those that are in Australia Again, and for China, you, I want to give God thanks for Liberia. China, um, Prophet Abraham in Liberia. Thank God for you and the radio station there in Liberia. Thank God for Kenya and thank God for the radio station and the television that we are connected to in Kenya. Thank God for Brazil. Thank God for you, Brazil. Yes, thank Brazil. Hallelujah. Thank God for Ireland and for. Good Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, the next year we will we'll give you God thanks for your life. In the mighty name Hallelujah. of Jesus. At this time, I'm going to welcome um, Sister Thank Promise, you. who's going to come. She's a psalmetic prophetic vessel. She's going to take us to the throne of grace in high-level spiritual worship. Sister Promise, welcome. This is our first time on this global platform. Can we welcome this mighty oracle in Jesus' prophetic name? Amen. Welcome. We welcome, we welcome you. Thank you. We promise we welcome you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come up closer to the phone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, woman of God. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Thank you, man. Yes. Father, we lift your name. Ah, 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 Father, we lift your name. Ah, we lift your name. Ah, we lift your name. Ah, we lift your name. Daddy will lift your name. Jesus will lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. Oh, we lift your name. Oh, we lift your name. We lift your name. We lift your name. Tell me we lift your name. Do you know we lift your name? We lift your name. We lift your name. 
Jane, oh shout hallelujah, oh shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, shout hallelujah, oh we shout hallelujah, oh shout hallelujah, oh shout hallelujah. Jesus will lift your name. Jesus will lift your name. Jesus will glorify your name. Jesus will worship your name. Because you are so the Lord. Lord will lift your name. Have a father will lift your name. Jesus will lift your name. Ah, oh Lord, will lift your name. We worship your holy name. Oh, will lift your name. Oh, will lift your name. Oh, Lord, will lift your name. Jesus will lift your name. Jesus will lift your name. Oh, 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 oh,
Jesus, 
Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of God. Hallelujah. 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 Uh, I shouted hallelujah. Come on, Caroline. Hallelujah. 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 This is what it feels like when Jesus is in the house. Somebody said Jesus is yes, in the house. That's what makes the difference. Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory. At this Thank time, you, we are going to the courts of heaven. What a, what a wonderful song. Can we hear it for, for, for the anointed vessel of God? Give God thanks for Sister Precious tonight. Awesome rendition. Give God oh, thanks for the mighty Lord. uncle. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank because I'm looking over us tonight and I'm seeing an open heaven. Because God has blessed the heaven like a submarine. Carolyn. So, so sister, sister precious, we just gotta ask you for one more song. Just don't don't be very long. One more song and we're going into the courts of heaven. Something great is about to happen. I see victory. I see restoration. I see rapid manifestation. I see increase. Mm-hmm. I see long standing yoke dissolved mm-hmm. by fire. Mm-hmm. I see spiritual mm-hmm. healing, mental mm-hmm. healing, psychological healing, emotional healing. Mm-hmm. I see mm-hmm. obstacles being removed out of body, soul, and spirit. Are you ready for the next level? Say the mm-hmm. promise one more song, one more song, woman of God, and we're going into the session tonight. Can you give us one more song, woman of God? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hope I didn't, I didn't interrupt Hallelujah. your voice. We clear up that voice right now. Go yes, forth in power. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you are worthy, O Lord. You are worthy. When we are singing, you are worthy.
Jesus' name. Worthy, 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 mighty name. At this time, we are going to the courts of heaven under the apostolic team tonight. My head is not for sale. My brain is not for sacrifice. Can you turn to your neighbor tonight and say, my head is not for sale. My brain is not for sacrifice. My head is not for sale. My brain is not for sale. My head is not for sacrifice. My head is not for brain. My brain is not for sacrifice. In the prophetic name of Jesus. In the prophetic name of Jesus. They are going to point their finger to the heaven. You're going to say, my children's brain is not for sale. My children's brain is not for sacrifice. My children's brain is not for sacrifice. My in the court of heaven. I am a destroyer. In the court of my destiny. My, my destiny. Is not my head my is not in my brain. My brain is not 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 my brain. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. My grandchildren. Hallelujah. 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 We need fire to fight the battle tonight. Holy Ghost, I come to the court of Acts. Mighty God, I ask for the fulfilling and the ill-filling of fresh fire from heaven. Lord, we ask that we will not have to undergo any kind of satanic harassment in the name of Jesus because of a deficiency of Holy Ghost fire in our life. So we come to the courts of the book of Acts. Mighty God, I come to Acts 2 and verse 3 that there were appeared unto the apostle called and tongue of fire, and that fire sat upon each one of them. Tonight, Lord, we ask that heaven will receive us. There will be called and tongue of fire for us to move proficiently and effectively 
and your weakness. We emerge our hearty with your fire, our brain with fire, our body with fire, our spirit with fire, our tongue with fire. We ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit of French. We drink fire tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, Lord, to repentance. We ask for hallelujah and newness tonight. Uh, that you will arm who is mightier than us, uh, whose shoes we are not worthy to even launch. Like what John the Baptist confessed, Daddy, that you will find us tonight. Uh, you will purge our glory tonight. Uh, you will purge us with fire. You will purge us with unquenchable fire. Mark tonight as uh, we're going up to talk about our head, Lord. Let the Power of the Holy Ghost rest upon our brain afresh. Break every unbroken era in our brain. Incubate our brain with fire. Let it be so heavy that no chance, no evil stranger can sit in our brain. No satanic control center. Lord, use your power to catapult us to the mountain top of glory. Father, open up the rest of glory and let sign and wonder follow this. All multiple strong man that is operating in our brain to paralyze the brain, to eat up the brain, to disintegrate the brain, to fragment and tread it, God. Holy Ghost, we ask tonight that after this interface, God, all spiritual filthiness will be burnt out and righteousness will increase. We're expecting a turnaround. Hallelujah. Tonight, for in Jesus. Jesus' prophetic name, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 So, the Bible has many things to say about the head. The Bible has many things to say about the head. I hope you did go ahead and get your anointed oil and begin to anoint your head because tonight is going to be a battle. Those of you whose head have been placed on a ritualistic altar for your head to be used as a sacrifice, God is going to ransom your head from any altar. You will be shouting the shout of Zion with everlasting joy. You will be lifting up your head because your head will not be used as a sacrifice. Shout hallelujah in the prophetic. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. To look in the realm of the spirit. When I look in the realm of the spirit, I see where people head, their heads are being traded. There's a lot of agonistic things that is antagonistic things that have been programmed in the head. And this is very, very serious because the, your head holds a very vital, hallelujah, part in your existence. A head is a part of an organism, which is usually Include the ear, the brain, the forehead, the cheek, the chin, the eye, the nose, and the mouth. Each one of these aid in the various sensory function of your humanity. You have a sensory realm, such as your sight realm, your hearing realm, your smelling realm, your tasting realm. And there are various things that the enemy can do to your head. Lord Jesus Christ, when I look at the various kind of things that they're projecting in people head in the demonic world where I am going to be very, very transparent with you. So we need to tackle them. We need to buckle up back our head. We need our head to come off the wiring of the enemy. We need our head to come off the mental control of any entity and deity. We need the Lord to rocket launch our head in the frequency of heaven because we have to lift up a standard. Without your head, you're nothing. So we need God to really to go into the inner part of our head, hallelujah, and begin to adjust some things in our head. Can somebody say, I need my head to be adjusted, and I need it to stay adjusted. So any power that has, hallelujah, any plan for my head, tonight, hallelujah, that power is going to die. That power is going to die in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. What does the Bible say about your head? Yeah, I just said. Turn your 
Bible with me to the book of Psalms 24. Hallelujah. We're going to read verse 7 is the key verse, but we're going to read a few verses of Psalms 24 because the Bible was making a proclamation about your head. The Lord has so much things to do with your head. God don't want you to be serving him and your head is on the altar of Buddhist. Your head is on the altar. Hallelujah. Of Santaria. Your head is on the altar of Voodoo, of Juju. Your head has been taken to the cemetery and your head is decaying. Hallelujah. God wants you to so, to, to serve him with a whole head. Am I communicating? Your head must be all yeah. So we're going to the book of Psalms 24 to see what the King James Version is saying about your head. And I'm reading from 1 to the end. It's only 10 verses. A Psalm of David. The earth is the Lord's. And the fullness thereof, the world, and they that yeah. dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the flood. floods. Who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that had clean hands. And a pure heart, who had not lifted up his soul unto vanity, or sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessing from the Lord, and righteousness from the God of his salvation. Hallelujah. Verse 6. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy faith, O Jacob. Verse 7, the key verse. Lift up your head, just all gate. So that is telling us that our head has a gate. Somebody say, my head have a gate, oh. Lift up your head, oh, gate. Aha. Uh -huh. And be he lifted up, he have a lasting door that the king of glory will come in. Uh, who is the king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. So lift up your head, O ye gates. So he will lift them up, he have a lasting door. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of Glory. Selah, shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So, hallelujah. In Psalm 24, verse 7, Yahushua Amashiah, the great God of the universe, he went to a head gate. A head gate. This is not metaphorically speaking. It is literally God is figuratively and literally saying on this wise, the head of a gate, the head of a gate, and he did not say singularity. Ah, uh -huh. he said, Oh, he gates. So that means the head of more than one gate. Am I communicating? And I will break Amen. down in a chronological Amen. order the gates of your head. Number one gate is the eye gate. Somebody said the eye gate. The eye gate. Hallelujah. What you don't understand about the eye eyes is that the Bible says that the eyes are the window of the soul. The eyes are the window of the soul. So the eye is a gate. Hallelujah. The eye is a gate. Why? Because it has an opening. Hallelujah. Then you have the nose gate. The nose gate. The nose gate. Why? It is an opening. Hallelujah. Then you have the mouth gate. You have the mouth gate. So you have about five gates on your head that has to do with your sensory realm and different part of you. The nose gate, the eye gate, the mouth gate, the ear gate, and in the forehead, there is a gate that many people are unaware of. It is called the eye chakra. The eye chakra. That is another part of you. The head is not comprised of those 
parts, but those are the major gateway to get inside of your head. And I reiterate, the head has a five major part that is critical to every human being. Those gates must be supervised by the king of glory. And that's why he asked to enter into the gates. He did not say just one gate. He wants to enter into all the gates, the ear gates, the eye gates, the nose gates, the mouth gates, and the chakra that is in between the forehead, the eye chakra, that which is used to open up the third eye. Praise the name of the living Jesus. So, so when, the, when he entered Amen. the gate, the gate was asking a question. Do you know the gate was responding to the need of the king to enter in? The, the gate responded by saying, who is this king of glory? Remember, the king says, lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, that the king of glory shall come in. Then the gate responded by saying, who is this king of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battles. Somebody shout hallelujah. Pray God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. The reason why, the reason why the king wants to come into your head gate, he knows that the head is the control panel of your your humanity. Your head represents your destiny. Your head represents who you are. Can I prophesy to someone? You will never see an headless man. You will never see an headless woman. Headless men and headless women are dead corpses. Hallelujah. The moment the most anointed prophet Hallelujah, lost his head. Hallelujah, his ministry was dead. So if you lose your head, your ministry will be dead. Can I prophesy? That is why it is important not to lose your head and to make sure any power that is coming in your head, they must be burned by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. To the name of God. Hallelujah. 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 So there was a man, we describe him in the Bible as the most anointed man. From among the sons of man, there has never arose a greater prophet than John the Baptist. So turn your Bible to me with the Mark 6, from 14 to 29. And it says, King Herod heard about this, for Jesus' name has become well known. Some were saying John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. And that day, that's why they have seen the miraculous power at work in him. Others say it's Elijah. And still others claim he is a prophet, like one of the prophets long ago. But when Herod heard this, he said, John, whom I beheaded, uh, is now raised from the dead. Hallelujah. We want to look at what happened to John the Baptist. Here is the story. For Herod himself has given order to have John the Baptist arrested. He had him bound and put in prison. He did this because of Herodias. Uh So tonight you're going to write down this name. Orodius is the assassin of prophet. Orodius is the one that sings and dance and make petition to have the heads of prophets. Prophets. So Orodius, hallelujah, is brother Philip's wife whom he had married. For John has been saying to Herod, it is unlawful for you to have your brother's wife. So Herodia nursed a grudge against John the Baptist and wanted to kill him. But she was not able because Herod feared John and protected him, knowing that him, not knowing him to be a righteous and holy man. When Herod heard John, 
he was greatly puzzled, yet he listened to him. So Herod know that the message that John the Baptist was given was right. Message of rebuke and message of hallelujah, hallelujah, accountability. You, you can't have your brother or wife that's unlawful in the sight of God. But finally, the opportune time came on Herod's birthday. Herod gave a banquet for his high officials and military commanders and leaders, men, leading men of Galilee. When the daughter of Herodias came in and danced, she pleased Herod and his dinner guests. The king said to the girl, ask me for anything you want and I will give it to you. And he promised her with an oath, whatever you ask, I will give you up to half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, what shall I ask? The mother reply was, the head of John the Baptist, she answered. And once the girl hurried to the king with the request, ha, huh, I want you to give me right now the head of of John the Baptist on a platter. The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oath, somebody said, any demonic oath on my head. Get her! fire! In the name of Jesus! Any demonic oath on my head. Get her by fire in the name of Jesus! The king was greatly distressed, but because of his oath, Hallelujah. And his dinner guest. He, he did not want to refuse her. So he immediately sent an executioner huh, with order. So three things you need to remember. Any oath on your head? Any executioner assigned for your head? Any order sent to your head to make you headless? And many people are being beheaded in the spirit. It must shut up! Boys, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. So Herodias asked for John the Baptist's head, and it was given to her on a platter. The head is the, the topmost part of the body. Ah, the head is a symbol of power and authority and honor. Kings and priests were anointed on their head. This is where their crowns were placed. According to 1 Samuel 10 and verse 1, 2 Samuel 1 and verse 10, 2 King 9 and 3. Adam was crowned with glory and honor. In Psalm 8 and verse 5, the Bible says that we are made a little lower than the angels. The head is the symbol of your destiny and glory. It is the head that wears the crown. And the crown speaks of power, authority, leadership, and positioning. It is your head that carries the glory. What does the Bible say about your head? The Bible says the head of every man is Christ and the head of a woman is the man. Christ is the head of the church. That is a different head. The head on your body is different from somebody being your head. Like your husband is your head, the head of a church, the head of a state, the head of a government. So heads are very important, both physically and spiritually. Praise the name of Jesus. What is the meaning of head in the Hebrew? In the, in the, Hebrew, the Hebrew word for head is the word rosh. The word wash me literally mean or uh, is translated as a cap hail. The word cap hail is the English word for head. It also means leader or ruler. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. No, you gotta understand that your head is sacred. Your head carry power. Your head carry anointed. You also heard about Joseph and the butler and the baker. Also, when that butler, when the baker lost his head, what happened? It, he, he died. So you cannot afford to lose your head to a deity, to an entity, to any power that wants to bargain with your head. You must use whatever ammunition, hallelujah, for you find necessary to attack 
the attacker of your head. So I want to take you deep into a teaching that I've prepared. That's just the surface. I may have to do three parts of this. Sometimes when entities and deities want to steal your head, they will influence you in your dream to plan things on your head. Like people have vision of somebody putting a crown on their head, somebody combing their hair, somebody uh, um, satanic barbers, uh, bobbing them in their dream, confiscating their ear, which is also a representation of their glory, and taking it away in the dream to the occult. People will do various thing as a source or a point of contact to get a straw up here to get something from you that can be identified to you or with you that they can use against you. Uh, there's a conflict that is going on with head. I want to go, I want to, I want to um, demystify it just a little bit. Unfortunately, many people don't know that your head can be bought. Your head can be summoned into a satanic court where they lay curses of, on you, such as delirium, insanity, madness. And the, one of the madness that they put on persons that is very hard to cure is incurable insanity. Incurable insanity is a very serious thing. So if you're having dream where people are before you and they're in a courtroom setting, that is very dangerous. It simply means that you have been summoned to a state and a court and many things can take place at that court. It is beyond our human ability to comprehend all the things that is able to take place, hallelujah, in the state and a court. Sad to say, individuals that have been summoned to Satan a court in their dream to put curses on their head don't know that they are declared mad, they are declared unsuccessful, they are declared sick, they are declared dead. All kind of declaration can be made on a person's head in the realm of the spirit. That's why it is important to have the king of glory in our head. Because even when you're sleeping and you're not watchful in your unguarded hour, the king of glory will lift a standard against any uh, uh, anything that wants to take your head into captivity. That's why so many people are having a schizophrenia, a bipolia, a ADD, uh, uh, all kind of degenerative brain disease. Um, in the book that I, I've written, I, I took I had to take a 600 diabolical crown on my head. Thank God that this book is, is going to land in a couple of days now. And I'm telling you, these diabolical crown, hallelujah, like they put sackcloth on you, make you overwhelmed with shame, dishonor. When God says that he make us a little lower than the angel and have crowned us with glory and honor. So I get to understand that there's a lot of things that is activated in the dream realm, uh, to deal with the dream realm and to get a good, hallelujah, release from those deities that invite things in us, in our dream realm, because the dream realm is one of the most greatest gate of any human being, because that is where you deal with spiritual things from the astral world, from the esoteric realm, from the esoteric realm and all the celestial, terrestrial, galactic, cosmic, all of those um, beings, uh, disembodied beings and beings that are coming from a higher frequency, even to multidimensional. They are up in those realms and they, they can invade you. So the Lord wants us to know that our head needs the Holy Ghost, which is the official guide to our humanity. Shout hallelujah. Amen. The official guide our humanity is the Holy Spirit, is the counselor. So even if you were attacked in your sleep, even if somebody put a curse on you, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit is a superior authority and he will not allow you to run mad. So let us look at some of the ways they can put curses on your head. We look at a few. John the Baptist's head was summoned. Hallelujah. There was an oath that worked in co coition with the summoning of John the Baptist's head. There was an oath. There was an order for an execution. So your head can be ordered to be executed in the realm of the spirit. People who have cancer in their head, brain tumor, brain aneurysm, that is an executioner. Hallelujah. Attacking them in the realm of the spirit. We can also call them spiritual murderer. They specialize in organ killing and they, it, the variation of how they operate is so tremendous. So 
Yes, so that, that is how it is. So tonight, I want to go into all can they possess my head. Uh, some people on the line, you're feeling things happening to your head. I want you to ask yourself, is there a curse activated on my head? Is there a judgment on my head? So we want to we wanna look at the various ways they can possess your head. Hallelujah. Number one, they know that your head carries serious value to you. So they can hire a satanic judge to judge your head. That's number three. Number four, satanic counselors can be assigned to your head. And those who have satanic counsel, they either have medium or guiding spirit that keeps speaking to them. Number four, you can have bloodline issues with idols from the bloodline that come in from your bloodline that is um, fostering the insanity, the delirium and the madness. Number five, your head can be under a very high satanic oath. Number six, your head can be under a, a satanic agreement. Number seven, your head can be spiritually amputated. Number eight, your head can be invaded by idol. An idol sit enthroned in your head. Number nine, like unto Nebuchadnezzar, hallelujah, come to the book of Daniel, chapter three, one to two. You can also set up an image in your head. Nebuchadnezzar set up a physical idol, but there can be a spiritual idol that is in your head. Number 11, you can have counselors, hallelujah, magistrates in your head. That is from the diabolical realm. Number 12, you can have demonic animals that, are, that is in your head. Prophetess, where do you get this kind of teaching? Demonic animals? In my head, well, according to the biblical narrative of the book of Daniel, Zebuchadnezzar had an animal inside of him. It was an animal that went into Nebuchadnezzar that he started to operate like a beast. I know you know the story very well. When Nebuchadnezzar was dethroned from being a king, hallelujah, and start eating um, like a wild animal. So you can also have serpent and Scorpions living in your head. Ferocious serpent and scorpions that come from the marine kingdom. That's number 14. Number 15, you can have Babylon the Great residing in your head with all her crown of blasphemy. Hallelujah on your head. Number 16, your head can be trapped under the water. Number 17, your head can be traded. Somebody in the demonic world buy your head and give you a bad head. Somebody said the devil's a liar. Any trade on my head must be reversed. I must get my real head in the name of Jesus. So, hallelujah. Trade can be done on your head. Are you hearing me, child of God? Are you still there, yes. people of God? Amen. 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 Number 17, your head can be unclothed. You don't have on your spiritual crown, so you're susceptible to all kind of entities and deities. There's 30 of them. Number 18, your head can be placed on a demonic altar. Number 20, your head can carry a death sentence. Number 21, your head can be put in the furnace of torment, where demons after demons after demons continue to torment you constantly. Every day, you're being tormented. Number 22, your head, Makobo Shatabakusata, can be summoned to a coven where witches are putting bullets in your head constantly. Sharp headache. Your head hurting. Feel like your head is going to burst. Feel like you, no matter how you take that um, um, painkiller, your head is about to give way because your head is picking up bullets. 
Number 24, your earth can carry evil loads. Loads of cancer, load of diabetes. Diabetes can be programmed in the head. Load of brain cancer, brain tumor. Load of schizophrenia. Those are evil loads. Number 26, your head can be severed. If you are a descendant of the Freemasonry, one of the oath is to cut off your head and put it on the pole so that vulture can eat up your head. Number 26, demonic vulture can feed on your brain. Somebody say help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord. Number 29, they can voice the skull on your head. Voice the skull is a, is a, is a technology that put a voice of anything the arrestors want to put on your brain. It is called voice the skull. So a voice is there to dictate as a dictator to the brain. Number 29, you can have strong man from your father's house living in your brain. Strong man from your mother's house living in your brain. For your point that you need to know, I mean, uh, examples, the spiritual husband can marry you and put his own crown on your head and also make a demand for you to be headless. Somebody say, help us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Help us, Jesus. How do you recognize when your head is under attack? Restlessness. Can't sleep at night. Can't focus. Can't concentrate. Always hear voices. Things interrupting you. Can't sleep at night. Those are just a few. Hearing voices. Getting direction from spirit guides. All of that denotes that there is a stranger in your head. Somebody say, oh Lord, deliver my head by fire. My head is not for sale. My head is not for sale. For sale. In the name of Jesus. Somebody need to say it again. I am the oh Lord, deliver my and head by oh fire. Lord, I my head is not in the mighty name of Jesus. Deliver my head, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Deliver my head in the name of Jesus. That's so like, oh Lord, you know what? It's okay. They can't go occupy my head. Just no. Deliver my head, my fire. In the name of Jesus, deliver my head by fire. In the name of Jesus. So today I had a family online. That's why I'm so drained. I had a family online. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So about eighteen of them. I had to divorce their head from the altar that was getting ready to run both of the people in the family mad. Most of the people, the mother, a blow was sent to her head for her to be mad. Her son is facing insanity. And they are going after the brain because these people are very excellent people. Their star is super fabulous. And the entity wants the star of these people. So it starts to ask them. I have to bring them to the court today and divorce their head from the altar of slaughter. I was shocked. And the entity that I saw oozing out of their brain. I don't know if you're one of the ones that we need to appeal to the court of heaven. You mm -hmm. need to stand in proxy for your family. Are you mm -hmm. seeing people in your family that have a mental problem? Hallelujah. Are you there mm -hmm. with me tonight? We are here tonight to ask mm -hmm. the Lord to save all the brains, to save the head, mm -hmm. that God will be the superior mm -hmm. authority over whichever power that is trying to steal the brain of our bloodline. Am I communicating? The captive must Amen. be delivered. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. So sometimes you have to look now. So who will be the one to say, boy, I really see some strange things happening in my bloodline. Um, mm-hmm. are, are you having family member who is struggling, um, struggling with, you know, some form of brain affliction? Are you having problem with your brain? Loss of memory? You find it difficult to remember where you put things? Or do we have people like those online tonight? Amen. They are struggling. Amen. You, will have, you, Amen. Have, you have your car key in your hand. Are you looking for the car key? You have the Amen. glasses on your face. Are you looking for yes. the glasses on your face? Yes. Are you having those kind of synopsis in your life where you're looking Amen. for the car keys right in your hand? Uh-huh. Yeah. And stuff like that. The enemy wants to trade Hallelujah, your head. And tonight mm-hmm. we're here to conduct mass deliverance on our brain. Nobody mm-hmm. in this ministry must run mad. Your children must not run mad. You must mm-hmm. not have degenerative diseases of the brain, such as Alzheimer's, Parkinson's diseases, and the various mm-hmm. deep debilitating diseases sure. that come after the brain. God wants to deliver your brain today by fire. Mm-hmm. If you're mm-hmm. under the sound of my voice, said I'm must deliver my brain must be delivered mm-hmm. oh, fire, my brain my brain must be delivered 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 in the mighty name of Jesus deliverance tonight by the name of Jesus so we are delivered tonight by fire so we are going to go to the appellate court I believe I want you to take a feeling at your head now because you're coming out of this global uh, hallelujah gathering. Uh, hallelujah with a new head. Uh, starting with myself. Uh, is, uh, what Amen. I used to do, you're going to do twice that. Uh, you're going to be quadruple. Amen. You're going to triple up. God is going to give you more. Because all those Amen. demons uh, that have been Amen. in your head gate, that is not Yahushua, Mashiach, come to Psalms 24 verse 7. They're getting ready to come out of your head. Amen. Uh, can I ask Amen. a question? Amen. Who is the prince in your head? Uh, do you have the prince of glory in your head or do you have the prince of hell? in your head. If you have the Prince of Glory, is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. But if you have the Prince of Power, it's going to be attack, brain attack, mind attack, depression, oppression, insanity, delirium, madness, ADD, schizophrenia, Parkinson diseases, all kind of entities and deities will be attacking your head, living in your head, manifesting in your head. The hour has come and now is. They must come out of your head. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're going to the court tonight in the name of Yahshua. Hope you can hear me loud and clear. I'm so excited because I already see a lot of people being liberated in their head. I see Amen. a lot of people. The young man Amen. that we prayed for the other night that he had the spirit of death on him. He wrote me telling me a dream and I want to just read the dream to show you how effective our prayers are. He, he wrote a, 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 a testimony of a dream that he had encountered after we prayed the other night. I want to just read this testimony in brief before we go into the the unpeter in the brain from those attack. Hallelujah. Hunter began to to write this and he and he said, I think that this is the wrong phone. Let me get the other one. I'm gonna read it loud and clear. Hallelujah. So I saw that that indeed was a spirit of death. I remember on the line I told him that there is a spirit of death that was pursuing him. To my surprise, he wrote and told me that he had an encounter with a lion. A lion tried to shred him. A lion tried to tear him to pieces uh, immediately after the prior. So God revealed that this was not a false prophecy, that indeed he had a very vicious entity that wanted him dead. Hallelujah. Can we read the testimony of this um this young man? And young um Hunter is just a kid. So for him to have that kind of encounter with that devil, it means that it is a hot pursuit to take his life. It started out by he started out by saying, Good morning. I have a dream last night that I fought a tiger 
away from my sleeping. Immobilized, immobile parent, mom, dad, and mom. The tiger broke through the door of our house. The house in red bank, we don't live in. He's trying to say that the house was in a red color, but we don't live in that color. No matter how hard I was holding the door, it then tried attacking them. It went from Mr. Hamilton first, and I punched it off, and I was screaming for them both to get up, and they just weren't getting up. And then it tried eating. Listen to this. I told Hunter that I saw in the realm of the spirit that the attack came as a crossfire, that he was in between battle. So look at what the vision says. And then I saw the entity, he said the entity tried to eat his mom. The entity tried to eat his mom. And then it tried eating mom, and I beat it before it could get to her. It, um, it but what? It but hung and came very close to me. Um, but I don't remember how I got it out the house. But I remember I somehow got it out and then locked the door for good, the deadbolt first, then the bottom lock, old house. And if I'm not mistaken, I was trying to explain to them what was happening, and it's like they just didn't care. Praise the name of the Lord. That was serious. What I like about this dream is shows that we got the victory over the killer. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's number Amen. one. Amen. And number two, he locked the door. So that means the door was open. And whoever had access to them was stronger than them. So, and then what happened that God is the only one that have the prophetic inclination that everybody was in danger. And even though they are in danger for their life, they could not see that they needed to get up. He was calling for them to get up. We're in danger. And what makes me know that this was definitely an assignment is when he said the, 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 the tiger went to eat up his mom. So he had to be his mom defender to push that thing away before he could consume his mom. What a mighty testimony. When the, when the fire went up, the Holy Ghost came and manifested himself in a mighty deliverance and save our young, our young prophet from being ravished by an enemy that comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Who is like unto the Lord? Somebody shout hallelujah in the mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 So we are going to pray now. I think he's online. This is very, very serious prior to release the brain. So get your anointed oil. And if you have children, please don't be embarrassed to say me and my children. Because you're anointed. Anything that comes out of you must get the anointed too. Don't go into self-deliverance and leave out those that are attached to you. It, it, it is unfair to them. Because you will find out that your house become a battle zone. They are under attack, but you are not under attack because you came on the prior line and you got certain insight. So we're going to share it to the unlearned and the uninformed. Our brothers and sisters who are under attack that also need to be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. So we're going to start by anointing our head. If you have anointed oil, please place the anointed oil on your forehead, your ears, over your eyelid, your mouth and your nostril, we are going into battle. Please do that expeditiously in the mighty name of Jesus so we can move in this awesome anointing and glory that is on this fire line. In the mighty name of Jesus, when you have anointed your head, can you shout aloud, amen, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mm. Do it quickly. I am doing mine too. I am doing mine. I'm anointing myself. I have to be partaker of the food. I am not those kind of prophets that come and tell you to do this, do that, and I leave myself out of it. The devil is alive. I, I, I need to also um, ensure that I'm getting mine too. 
in the name of Jesus. When you have done it, can you say, I'm ready, please. Let us go. Ready, please. I'm ready. Amen. Amen. I'm ready. Amen. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. ready. I'm ready now. Did, did, did many of you identify with this message that something is encroaching on your head sometimes? Amen. You feel that pressure yes. in your Amen. head. So my mind, yes. my spine, my ears, over my eyelids, my nostril, my mouth. It is more than that. Some people, their head is already sold in the demonic world. So we're going mm-hmm. to gonna construct a serious prayer tonight. Uh, and then we're going to mm-hmm. kick all those demons that is coming in your head. Once they have successfully stored at the brain, you will become a vegetable. You will become a vegetable. Let us pray. Say after me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask to appeal to the appellate court. I ask to appeal to the appellate court. court. In the name of Yeshua Messiah. In the the name name of of Yeshua Messiah. Jesus Christ, the righteous judge. Jesus Jesus Christ, the righteous righteous judge. judge. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you for giving me this opportunity and my family. To bring my head. To bring my head. head. All my children and family members. All my children and family members. That has been offered on altars. That has been offered on altars. In the demonic world. In the demonic world. To be used as sacrifice. To be used as sacrifice. sacrifice. Unto strange gods. Unto strange gods. My Father, you are the superior authority over all gods and idols. Father, you are the superior authority over all gods and all idols. Therefore, Therefore, I plead before the appellate court of heaven. I plead before the appellate court of heaven. The appellate court of heaven. The appellate court of heaven. The Supreme Court of heaven. The Supreme Court of heaven. By the shed blood of Yeshua Messiah. I come through the fire and I come through that blood of the Lamb. I come through the fire and I come through that blood of the Lamb. That was shed for me. That was shed for me. And my bloodline. And my bloodline. To Heavenly Father. Before the foundation of the world. Before the foundation of the world. Begin and have their existence. Begin and have their existence. You was and is and is to come. You were and is and is to come. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm here to present my case. Father, I'm here to present my case. And to appear before you, the righteous judge. And to appear before you, the righteous judge. For, for forgiveness and acquittance. For forgiveness and acquittance. Of every diabolical injunction. Of every diabolical injunction. Of every diabolical injunction. Curses. Curses. and vexes and spells. Exes and vexes and spells. Voodoo and santeria. Voodoo and santeria. Shamanism and Buddhism. Shamanism and Buddhism. Necromancy. Necromancy. And every other charm. And every other charm. That is done to my head and the head of my children and family members. 
that I've gone to my own and my children and my children that I should come boldly to the throne of grace Father, you declare that I should come bold to the throne of grace to find strength in the time of need to find strength in the time of need that is the reason why I'm here to find strength Hallelujah. That is the reason why I'm here to find strength. No, saints, I must tell you, this means war, please. So don't be distracted. This means war. What you're going to do? Mean war. I see it. But it, because we're in the court contending, the deity is going to come out of your head. That deity that is sitting out in your head is going to come out so precious will be your head Amen. going forward. Amen. 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 So let the court come in coition. Let the court come in coition. With Daniel chapter 7, 9, and 10. With Daniel chapter 7, 9, and 10. Let me read it. And it states, As I looked, thrones were set in place, and the ancient of days took his seat, and his clothing as white as snow, and the ear of his head were like wool. His throne were flaming with fire, and his wheel were all ablaze. A river of fire was flowing, coming out from before him. Thousand times ten thousand attended him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were open. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, may you say it. Father, in the name, in the name of, of Jesus, I call Yeshua Mashiach. I call Yeshua Mashiach. My lawyer and my righteous judge. My, my lawyer, lawyer and my righteous, and my righteous, my righteous judge. judge. I call on the seventh spirit of God according to Isaiah 11, 1 and 3. I call I call the cloud of weakness. I call the cloud of weakness. I call the Hebrews twelve one to three. I call the Hebrews twelve one to three. Say this with faith, mighty everlasting Father. My, my father. It has been brought to my attention. It has been brought to my attention. That my head. That my, my head. head. My children head. My, my children head. My children head. Those are my bloodline. Those are my bloodline. My side and father's side. Mother and father, this is down to Adam and Eve. I've been spiritually and physically traded. I've been physically and spiritually traded. Our head have been mortgaged. Our head have been mortgaged to the kingdom of darkness. We ask that you summon the kingdom of darkness. We ask that you summon the kingdom of darkness. That is responsible. That is responsible. For defiling our head. For defiling our head. And for taking my head into satanic covenant. And for taking our head into satanic covenant. That of my children, my bloodline, and either side of my children, and my children of my bloodline, and my bloodline, and either side of the family. And either side of the family. Now, in the name of Jesus, I ask now, Father, I ask now in the name of Jesus. Every contract, that every contract, that every contract, every contract, vows and every trading, every vows and every trading, every every documents, every documents, every document, every certificate, 
Every death sentence. Every death sentence. Set loud and clear. Every satanic leans. Every satanic leans. Every prince and princess. Every prince and princess. Every king and queen. Every king and queen. Every strong man and strong woman. Every strong man and strong woman. Every witchcraft cauldron and cove. Every witchcraft cauldron and cove. That is claiming ownership to my head. That is claiming ownership to my head. And all the gates of my head. And, and all the gates of my, my head, my head, those of my children and family members, those of my children and family members, and family members. in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, I renounce every principality. I renounce every principality. Have the power and every throne. Every dominion and rulers and wicked spirit in high places. Every ruler and wicked spirit in high places. Every legion and demigod. Every legion and demigod. Every contended hierarchy. Every contended hierarchy. Every horseman of Hades. Every horseman of Hades. Every bugs and implants. Every bugs and implants. Every program of a dark matter. Every program of a dark matter. Every evil personality. Every evil personality. Be as a Bob and Asmodai. Azaziel and Lilith. Azaziel and Lilith. Queen of heaven, queen of space, queen of the coast. Queen of queen, queen of heaven, queen of space, and queen of the coast. Queen of the Indian Ocean. Queen of the Indian Ocean. Titan. Titan. Cobra. 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 All serpent and scorpions. All serpent and scorpions. Say, O oh Lord God of Israel. O oh Lord, oh Lord God of Israel. Israel. Let the book of records. Let the book of records. Be open on my head. Be open on my head. head. I want you to say this loud and clear because I see a lot of things coming out of people's head. A lot of things. I'm seeing a lot of things. Say you are the just judge of the universe. You are the just judge of the universe. And justice are the foundation of your throne. Judgment and justice and you are the lawgiver, my king. Hallelujah, the lawgiver, my king. My king. Hear the big one now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. When the earth sees you, the earth and the heaven fled away. When the when earth, earth, earth sees you, the earth, earth and the heaven fled away. The heaven and the heaven and so you are the great God that will judge the dead and the living. You, you are the great God, God that will judge the dead and the, 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 the living. Said any dead spirit. Any, any dead spirit. That is living in my head. That is that is living in my head. That are my children on my bloodline. That are my children on my bloodline. That reside in the inferno of hell. That reside in the inferno of hell. I am in the court of heaven. 
I call heaven and earth as a witness to this righteous injunction. I call heaven and earth as a witness to this righteous injunction. May the court move. May the court move. To summon the great dragon. To to the, 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 the ancient serpent called the devil. The ancient serpent called the devil. The devil. To come up and out of my head. To come up and out of my head. Hallelujah. 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 Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Everything buried in my head. Everything buried in my head. My children, my bloodline head. My children, my bloodline head. I beseech the court of heaven. I beseech the court of heaven for more information. For more information. For more information. For more information. That I will be free. 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 Say, I ask for the removal. I ask for the removal of everything that I confess. Of everything that I confess, inclusive and not limited, inclusive and not limited. For these that I'm about to confess now, for these that I am about to confess now, Father, I ask for the removal. Father, I ask for the removal of every hybrid spirit. Of every hybrid spirit, fallen angels, fallen angels, synthetic spirit, synthetic spirit, malevolent deities, malevolent deities, archetype beings, archetype beings, non human animalistic beings. Non human animal living being, human animal being, program ancestral deities, program ancestral deities, evil spiritual thrones, ay, 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 evil spiritual thrones, yokes and padlocks. Yoke and padlock and embargoes. Robots and embargoes. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I every accusation of sin. I confess every accusation of sin. And I ask that the lawsuit. And I ask that the lawsuit. And I ask that the lawsuit. Penalty and punishment. Penalty and punishment. Accusation and punishment. The accusation and sentences. The accusation and sentences. That I speak to a man and harass me mentally. That I speak to a and harass me mentally. No. That I speak to me mentally. No, no, no. God has plagued and harass me mentally. Okay. That I speak to me mentally. And harass me mentally. Mentally, we'll come to a perpetual end. We'll come to a perpetual end. end. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 I request. I request. 
I request assignment. All assignment. That's all. That's all, all assignment. All assignment. Evil programs. Evil programs. Evil programs. To me, my children and bloodline. That's right. To me, my children and bloodline. bloodline. Head and brain. And, 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 brain. and, and, and brain. And all the gates, and, 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 all, the and gates. All, all the gates, will now be destroyed permanently. Will now, will now be destroyed permanently. Be destroyed permanently. And, move, and move into non-existence. And move. I move into non and move into non-existence. I move into non-existence. And move Just into non-existence. You know, this is something that God showed us in the dream with Hunter. He closed the door and put the deadlock board on. Say after me. I close every door. My I, I close every door. Every door. Gates and portals. Gates and portals. and portals. Every channel. Every channel. Every channel. And I undo all sorts of binding and entanglement. And I undo all sorts of binding and entanglement. No, I, I am the one that write this fire, huh? And I'm telling you, many of you can start feeling a shift over your head. This is not a joke. If you're feeling it, can you shout hallelujah on this global planet? Hallelujah. 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 Of the prior need your undivided attention. For this is where the elimination takes place. Hallelujah. You're going to say, Father, I renounce. Father, I renounce all these demons all these demons and their civilization. Cough it out, 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 it out, cough it out, it out, get out. Yes. Now, move out of that head. Peter now. A sickness, cancer, and tell me that your time is up. You are being discovered. Look out! Thank you, Lord. Mm. Mm. Thank you, Lord. The Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I want to say this to you, all of you lazy people. Confession brings possession. It doesn't matter how much prophet pray for you. Be your own prophet. Open your mouth and say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Father, in the name of Jesus. All these demons that occupy my head, my children's head, and the head of those in my bloodline. Uh-huh. All these oh, demons that occupy my head, my children's head, my family's head, and my bloodline. I renounce their civilization. I renounce their civilization. I renounce their realms and timelines. Hey God. I renounce their realms and timelines. I renounce all their sicknesses and destiny altering as a theme. Hey. I renounce all their sicknesses and destiny as a theme. Yes, God. Shout hallelujah! Mighty God! Oh, hallelujah! 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 As I was praying, God opened my eyes. Kamara's son, 
AJ, I saw seven stars dropping on his head. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm contaminated. It's war time. Hallelujah. 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 Where do you think you wear your star? You wear your star in your head. Hmm. When witches look at you, they can see your colorful destiny. Ah. shut up tonight is Star Wars. Because we need our star that is in our head that some of them have been ripped, stolen, confiscated, hide. We can't find it. We need it for fire. Somebody, everybody get up and run. Where you are, if you don't run, you're not going to catch this one. Just make a run. Run where you are. Save position. Move from where you are. Heart. Hallelujah to another direction. Thank the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Come back in position now. In Jesus' name. I am getting numbers. Ah. You see you, Kamara, if you do what God tell you to do and don't hesitate like that. I saw 14 stars coming down on your head. Amen. Amen. No, I'm going to call out those. This is, this is serious night tonight. Nobody move tonight. I'm not going to shout tonight. I am doing a prophetic procedure tonight. Ah. Can I renounce this civilization? I renounce I renounce the traded door for star assassins. I renounce the traded door of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I renounce the training door of destiny altering star killers. I renounce the training door and destiny star altering. I renounce the training door of destiny star diversion. I renounce the training door of destiny diversion. Somebody you're gonna feel like you wanna sit, you can't stop sitting, sitting. Just go ahead and sit, 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 put it out. Amen. Before I can release your star, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna look in the realm of the spirit now. The Lord is giving me this ability to go up higher into with um, putting back the stars in their right place. Vomit it out, all of you. That, that, that they are coming out. They can find your body a, a, a nice place to stay. I don't even have to see they come out. The anointing is here. God is chasing them out. God is confronting the strangers that has bind your head, that has bind your star, that has entangled your head with the strong man. Come on, all of them coming out. Out, out, out. Hey! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. Money, you just get it out. 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 I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into out, out, out. Because you know you've got to leave now. There's no more legal right for you to maintain your position. Yes, all of you that feel a stomach movement, yes, your brain is connected to all the other parts of your body. Your brain gives instruction to the 78 different, hallelujah, organs in your body. So we need all those incurable things to come up and out now in the mighty name of Jesus. 
I want to finish this so I can restore some of your star. I don't have to get everybody tonight. But I'm, I, I got the great position. Great position. Hallelujah. Coming up on his people. Hallelujah. Say after me, I renounce. I renounce. I renounce. All the organism. All, all the organism. A brain alteration. A brain, brain alteration. alteration. Brain cells mutation. Brain, brain, brain cells mutation. And trouble brain diseases. Sudden death. Fired in my brain. My children brain. Fired in my brain. My children brain. My 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 brain. Father, the strong man and his network. Father, removal of his armor and his scepter. Father, the removal of his armor and his scepter. To confiscate his throne of power and render it powerless. To confiscate his throne of power and to render it powerless. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, remove the physical and spiritual worms. Remove the physical and spiritual worms. Maggots and plagues. Maggots and plagues. Parasites and fungi. Abominable feces. Brain poisoning. Brain vampirism. And all cords of connectivities. And all cords of connectivities. In every realm and every planet. In every realm In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know, you are very now. Yes, better. Much, much better now. All right. All right. So I saw AJ. I saw seven stars rushing to him in the realm of the spirit. Then I look and I saw 14 stars rushing to his mother. And then I look and I saw 12 stars rushing to Valoria, Laura. Then I look and I see six stars rushing to Evelyn. And I said, what is this? All of these stars were apprehended in the realm of the spirit because all of you are the embargoes on your head. I see 11 stars for, Mad, for, for Marie Rodney. 11 stars. I saw another, I saw some people have so much stars that they, they, they don't know how to function. I saw nine stars for for Jessica, 
um, Keleman, Kimika, I saw 10 stars. Kushata Bahaya. Number ending with 27-24, there are 18 stars in your destiny scroll. You need to possess them because that's where the wealth is. Number ending in 1856, seven stars. Number 1858, 21 stars. You are the biggest star. You're a global star. You need to talk to me off here. Uh, Kerwin Bacchus. Uh, 11 star. One of your star has to do with mighty God, real estate. Uh huh. One of your, it's, it's like flipping houses and it, there's great uh, financial doors getting ready to open for you in that industry. Who is Glemo? Telephone ending in 6499. I want to tell you how important this star is. God shows me that you're going to be a benefactor of eight, eight stars, eight stars. Number 8271, you have three stars, that is good, and you have five stars, that is a total of eight stars, and another two, and all of them has been tied down. So you have to raise your voice in the heavens, and you know what to do to get to lose your stars. I don't know if anyone in you have ever gone through star activation where your star has been brought back to you, stars that have been truncated, stars that have been stolen. Telephone ended in 8603. Your star has been greatly tampered with, and then God is saying the ruin is over. Also, this is an African number, 9821. Your star is global. I see six. I see two. And the two star is a global star. Those stars is, is people must look you up and finance whatever it is that you need. The enemy has tampered with your star and tried to make you not to shine. But the hour has come and now is when God is getting ready to connect you to global, global, global nations so that your stars will, will come into fruition to the destination that it was created to shine. And all of that is inch on your head. When your head is delivered, saints, then your star will start to matriculate and it will come into alignment to the original you that was designed. Um, I hear um, that the, um, Sister Altier, you have nine stars. And Brother Kenneth, her, 20 stars, 20 stars. Uh, for why you're getting 20 stars is because you're carrying generational blessing like Abraham. So you're going to each one that is going to be reconstructed to carry a particular blessing that God has designed for the family that they were not able to carry in time past because there was a misalignment. Rose, you have nine stars and another one that is coming. That one is in an infancy state. That one can never be given to you until they reach a particular place in committing to God. It's like when Joseph was told that, you know, he was a, he was a young man, even though he saw the vision at, at the age of 17, that he was going to be a man um, of great destiny, but he was not mature and developed enough to handle the blessing. So it was 33 years before that thing was, that prophecy was fulfilled when he was the age 33. And Tishabel, huh? You have 11 stars. All of your stars are bright. But the Lord eats you. You're, you're hidden because those that anger you will literally misanger you and try to kill you because of what your star entails. And for me, I have 27 stars. Um, I've been given the privilege to have access to someone dear to me who I was rest their star upon me before they exit the earth. So kind of combination of my stars and my mother's star. My mother was a biblical teacher of the word and I got that grace from her mantle. Um, she was on the one that start to taught, taught me how to, to teach. Um, Mr. Um, Watson, your star is a global star. You have 16 stars. All of them are vicious, waiting for you to possess them. So I was told to tell you to come out of passivity so you can carry the global star. 
again, you're going to rise to a place of influence where I remember years ago, I prophesied to you that I saw you in magazine. I see you coming in a magazine, but this will be your own daughter that God is going to instrumentally align her to start publish. She's going to do a lot of publishing um, of a family history, both on our journey to different nations of the world. And you're going to come into some of, you're going to be featured in some of the magazine. And that is, that will be a proof to you that your glory, that you want to share in time past has, has been brought back. You're going to be featured as an entrepreneur. You're going to be featured as someone that donate things to the press, um, the poor, and the disenfranchised. You have a lot to offer, and the time is creeping up on you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ. Debbie in Holland, you have six stars. All of your children is carrying a six star. So it's a combination of stars, and you have to be speaking over their life that none of their stars will be truncated. Your husband of five star, he originally had 11 stars and six of them were stolen and they are they're in a black hole they are unretrievable God has to make him new stars and he cannot get it at this time he has to come into a place of fasting and submission my Kaya you have uh, you have three stars then you have another three stars your best um, align with people who are kind of glory for star activation and that will make all your stars come out more and we will be able to even see others that are hidden because because of the magnitude of what you were born to carry God has to hide you because those that anger you, anger you like Mephibosheth, they want to destroy you, they want to kill you because of what you're carrying, unknown unto you that your greatest enemies are also in your bloodline Hallelujah. Did we did we leave anyone or shout hallelujah somebody? Yes, hallelujah. 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 When we're doing star when we're doing hallelujah. Star, when you do when you're doing star activation, you, you you can't you can't come empty handed before the Lord. I'm telling you. Star activation is so powerful. Stars can be act, stars can be punctured. And all of that come because you align your head tonight. Star can be misdirected. Stars can be stolen. Stars mm. can be confiscated. Uh, your, your star can be replaced. If you listen, Dr. Ulukuya, like I do, following him for almost 19, 20 years now, you will find out amazing thing. He gave a testimony of a man who was into witchcraft. And the man saw a young man who have about five to six stars in his forehead. And he and the native doctor that was with him confiscated the young man's star from out of his forehead. And as a result of that, the young man become a vagabond. So when the native doctor got saved, on his way coming to church one day, he saw the same young man that he confiscated his, his destiny star from him. So I'm under the bridge like a madman. So he came and complained to Dr. Ulukuya. He was the one that told them that you can see people star and you can take what belongs to them and it is it is transferred to you. And I know many of you, you used to do certain things that you can't do anymore. It is because your stars have been stolen. You must never stop praying until your destiny star is restored. That's what happened to my star, Apostle. Hello? Yeah. Yes, Apostle, this is Teresa. Yes, um, I, I, I did not finish it. I'm going to go back to you, please. I'm Let sorry. Finish, um, yeah, that's okay. So when the destiny star, let me just tell you, oh my God, your star is, is, is media. Your star is, is media. Your star <laughs> is being sought after diligently to kill it. Your star attract intense warfare, and the number of stars that you have is ten. The governmental mm. anointing that is upon your star, Hallelujah! Now I want to tell you, it doesn't matter how many stars you have. Stars wait in glory. Star varies in glory. Jesus' star outshine everyone's star until the wise man start to inquire diligently, Hallelujah, about the star. Even Herod was seriously oppressed and depressed because of the destiny 
that Jesus' star entail. Are you hearing me, children of the Most High God? Yes, Matthew Amen. 2, 7 Amen. to 16. Amen. Herod, make inquiry and ask about the star of the Lord. I want to tell you something about your star. If you ever know how many seed I sow to get my, my star, and I just, the Lord tell me something about my star, and it, it is so severe that many people are not going to know who I am. The agenda Amen. to thwart, intimidate, and to kill my star has come to an end. And the, 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 the satanic um, killer squad did not attack me now. They started trying to kill me from I was in my mother's room. And so people who are carrying mega stars, you will always find that from you're a child growing up and your star is associated with your head because your star is given to you and it, you wear it in your forehead. And that's where your star is in your forehead. Hallelujah. The serious spiritual um, implication. Once the star is removed, you will become a vagabond. Um, there's something you need to know that your, your star describes who you are. All right. Why, why can we say that? When Jesus Christ was born in Bethlehem of Judea, did you notice how his star shine? Did you notice that they, they didn't have an address for Jesus? There was no GPS there. What do you think they yeah. used to, to follow Jesus? Yeah. His star. They monitor him through his star. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. No. Hello? Amen. Star is so powerful that God mm -hmm. said to Abraham in Genesis chapter 15 and verse 5, gaze up mm -hmm. in the heavens. Um, Can you number the stars? And every star that you see in the heaven is a representative of you that is on the earth. That's why when a star falls, a falling star, it denotes the death of someone that they're going to die in the mm -hmm. physical realm. All right? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So many, unknown, to, unknown to many of you, God used me many times to activate people's stars. And um, sometimes I spend three hours in the stars. We go together and all kind of different encounters. I've seen many things. I see people with books, people with stuff that they're going to do for, 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 the, for the nation, for themselves. And I want to tell you something that is important. Your star, when your star is with you, it helps you to navigate your way in your God-given destiny. That is your Amen. spiritual compass. It is a divine compass. Shout hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 All right. All right. Let me tell you why it is important to continue to pray and to lift seed, even now for your stars. And many people say, live still for my star. That way you can stay there. When the enemy plunder you, you don't come to God empty-handed. It's kingdom versus kingdom. Huh? Timeline versus timeline. Some of your stars can suffer miscarriage. What do you mean like that? A star can be punctured. So when they puncture it, the agents of darkness will vehemently resist and fight you, put a nail. They will attack you spiritually. They will try to translate you into the realms of the dead before your time. What do you mean, Prophetess Anna, when you say my star can be punctured? Your stars are loaded with benefits, virtues for life. Your stars is full of the course of life. Can somebody say that? My star is filled with the course of my life. My star is filled the course of my life. So there's many ways people can take your star from you. Witches can just sit and say, oh my God, you have children that are brilliant. All of a sudden they start to go down. They can give you something to eat and take the star out of you. Uh-huh. You can have sex, huh. immorality, extract the star immediately, avoid these things, fornication and those things. It's grievous punishment, the kingdom of darkness, steal the star, and most marine kingdom. I will, I'll have to teach on that another night. Unfortunately, many people's stars are stored there. There's no world. Disney World is an imaginary kingdom in the marine kingdom. And Disney World in the physical 
is the star of careless men and women. Did you hear the spiritual? Uh -huh. Do you hear what the prophet says tonight? Huh? Mermaid, Amen. merman, all those people, they build that kingdom from your virtues, from your stars that they have stolen because of your carelessness. Amen. Do you want to hear more about your star just a little bit before we go? Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. 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 You Amen. said go that ahead. my star was great. You said that my star was greatly tampered with. Yes. Mm. I believe that. Yeah. So um, I see you have a very, very, very great destiny. And so what they're even trying to do is to put you in the sick bed, make your bed ridden. That is not you. That is a reprogram you. And, and, and that, that is the empty and the waster. They took most of the valuable thing out of you, just living in the ox now. But God is faithful. You can be restored. Amen. So we're going to look at some more things that can happen to the stars. If you're careless, your star can be programmed to fail when, you're designed, when you were designed to succeed. Ooh. All of that has to do with your head. So the king of glory must come into your head. Your head represents your destiny, your star, and everything that you are. <laughs> Wicked power can swallow your stars. And they must be commanded to vomit it out. You can have a satanic gang up of jealous people to sabotage your star and cause you to yeah. fail. Like Joseph's brother who sabotaged his star because they were afraid of who he is becoming. <laughs> your star can wander from nation to nation, from city to city, from state to state, and don't, fall, and don't find a destination. Because you can be programmed to become a wandering star. Never amount to anything. Every star has a destination. You must arrive somewhere. You were born to arrive somewhere. Jesus arrived in Bethlehem of Judea. That is the destination for a star. His birth denotes that. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So the next thing you're going to do now, this is the major part. You're going to ask the Lord to fill your star and your head with the blessing that comes from Psalm 24, verse 7. And you're going to seal that blessing, tag it in you spiritually and physically. Those of you that want to sow your seed, run to it and don't hesitate. You can call me off the line one-on-one -on -one if you want more depth about your star that you don't want it to be on this global thing. I will take it off the air. I want to come to an end now with tonight's service. If you have a question, you're going to have to wait until next time. It's almost 12.30. So I want to see you all with the blood of Jesus. Thank you so much for your time tonight. Thank um, God for that dynamic woman of God that came on tonight. I think that this is the time of recovery of star because it has to do with everything that God has promised you so that there will not be just pingy manifestation, but there will be an avalanche of breakthrough. Please walk in wisdom and don't share what God is doing with everyone because some of them are star killers. And they will bring you right back where God has just delivered you. I am Apostle Anakin Israel, and this is the line of Judah prophetic. I'm um, no, at a call, Apostle. No, I'm the call that is able to keep us from falling and to present us blameless before his glorious appearance. If you're on this line and you have not met the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, this is the time to do so. Please repeat this prayer after me. Dear Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I am Dear Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive Nazareth. me. I am a sinner. Forgive me. I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Forgive me of my sins. Cleanse me of all unrighteousness. All unrighteousness. 
I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ died for my sins. I believe that God raises Jesus from the dead. I believe that Jesus Christ raised Jesus from the dead. I believe that God raises Jesus Christ. I believe that God raises Jesus Christ from the dead. From the dead. I now receive Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I now receive Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The Son of the Living God. The Son of the Living God. To be my Lord and my Savior. Hallelujah. To be my Lord and my Savior. From this time forth and forevermore. For this time forth and forevermore. Say, O oh God of glory. O oh God of glory. Erase my name from the book of eternal death. Erase my name from the book of eternal death. Write my name in the book of eternal life. Hallelujah. Write my name in the book of eternal life. And seal it with your blood. And seal it with your blood. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We welcome you to the kingdom of heaven. God is your father. Please take my number, 201-539-8703. I repeat, 201-539-8703. I would like to be your mentor. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Can somebody say that for tonight? Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. We have a kingdom assignment, saints. We have a kingdom assignment to bring one million souls to the Lord. So those of you that was not in the leadership meeting on Saturday night, please go ahead and make your pledges. We are trying to put the satellite up. ASAP. Um, I mean, everybody's picking in. Everybody's seen it. So it's time for you to, yeah. to get your, your seed in the ground. And so be a part of the global gathering of souls for the kingdom. Yahweh bless you and I cover you Amen. with the blood of Jesus. Amen. Shalom. Until next Thank time. You. Good night. Shalom. You're welcome. Shalom.